disappointed with myself. <laughs> Magnetic flux? What does that do, dude? Don't tell me. No. No. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, apologies for the drought in videos lately. I've been extremely busy with classes. We've only got a couple of weeks left of online summer courses, and then hopefully I'll be back to making videos regularly. Just kidding. No, no. The, the actual school year starts, so that might not even be true. But... I found some time after my physics lecture to record a uh, Boost to the Top live with a team sent to me by a viewer. If you guys want to send me teams, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter link is in the description. Um, but yeah, this team is from Grim Chris VGC, and the code will be in the comment section pinned below so no one misses it. Uh, and the team is actually very interesting. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show it to you right here. Um, yeah, switch battle teams. It'll allow me to show you. <laughs> I was I was actually in the middle of playing, and I hadn't realized that I wasn't recording the right screen. So for like half of the first ten minutes, like I was I was just straight up recording the wrong screen. So this team uh, is centered around G Max Rillaboom with the assault vest, Life Orb G Max Urshifu, uh, support Toekiss with Follow Me and a Babiri Berry, Focus Sash Excadrill, Choice Scarf Toxtricity, which is kind of sad. I actually looked into it. It doesn't outspeed Dragapult, which is it's kind of lame for a Choice Scarfer, but I respect it anyways. And it's also G Max, so it might take advantage of the uh, grassy terrain. We have that Rillaboom. And we have Palm Puff, uh, Koba Berry, Amoongus. So I think the team's really interesting. Uh, my only complaint outright is that uh, it has no Psychic type switch ins, which could be a little bit annoying. We also have couple of psychic weaknesses three of them in fact so uh, he did ask for feedback so that is my feedback uh, right off the bat uh, however you know this team might work pretty well I played one game off camera and we did pretty good uh, we ended up winning but also uh, if you haven't noticed we're still in the lower tiers and that's purely because I have no time to play off camera as you can see we have seven wins three losses all of those you can see in the videos uh, but this team interesting also let's shoot for 150 likes today guys and go ahead and comment to help me out with the algorithm help me survive this YouTube drought uh, let me know what your favorite G-Max form is. But, um, this looks like self-proc comfe Lapras cheese, uh, which Rillaboom, oh, Rillaboom eats this up. However, we still have to be careful. We still have to be careful because, um, we have to deal with the opposing, we have to deal with, like, an opposing, uh, Incineroar, which could intimidate us and make us not pick up the Kale. Along with that, we have Cinderace on the other side of the field. I think it's in our best interest still to lead Rillaboom with Togekiss. Life Orb Urshifu might be good, but probably not in the beginning of the match, probably in the end game. Um, yeah, Urshifu doesn't seem bad. Are we, We're carrying U-Turn, Protect, Surging Strikes, and Close Combat, I believe. I kind of wish we had Aqua Jet, because I'm just used to running that. Um, Scarf Toxtricity could be good. I kind of want to use the Scarf Toxtricity, like I really do. I just think it's going to be cool. And we're bringing Urshifu. We're bringing Urshifu. Also... I've been trying to make some extra money uh, to pay rent, uh, and I've been doing that by giving uh, coaching sessions on VGC. You can buy like an hour for 15 minutes. If you guys want to help me out, you don't need to. You don't need to. Uh, I've gotten enough scheduled so I can actually like pay rent. Uh, but if you guys want to help me out anyways, uh, you can get more info on that in the Discord, which is linked in the description down below. So yeah, if you guys want to get some coaching sessions, I I'm doing that now apparently. Okay, this is actually really, really good uh, because we can follow me away the... We can follow me away the, the, what's it called, the Giga Drain? Not the Drainicus, uh, which has priority because of the ability Triage, so that's actually really cool. But what we're going to do here is we're going to follow me away the hit, and we're probably, I don't know if we actually one-shot. G-Max Drum Cell is really strong, but I think we actually require the, um, I believe we require the stupid item, the, um, I, I always forget the name of it, the, either a Life Orb or, um, not Grassy Seed, the Miracle Seed. They also might follow me, or not follow me, they also might ally switch, which is, like, evil. However, they, at the very least, won't get their weakness policy if they do that. Now that I think about it, there's probably no need to follow me. Purely because, like, they would only do more damage to their Lapras, you know? Like, they'd just be doing damage to Lapras. Also, something to note, this Rillaboom has absolutely no speed investment. Uh, I looked at the pace just now. Uh, so for all we know, this Rillaboom is slow enough where the Lapras would outspeed. So maybe the Follow Me was the play. But this is, like, the strongest grass move in the game in grassy terrain. I have faith that this is going to knock out this Lapras. I got some faith, you know? Hopefully I'm right. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, baby, knock it out. Oh, not quite. We're going to give it the weakness policy, um, which is a little bit annoying. It's a little bit annoying. We definitely should have just let it happen, you know? Because he's probably going to trick room here. Or did we follow me away the... I didn't see... No, we didn't take any damage, so they, they trick roomed up, which is smart. They're probably EV to live that, so that makes sense. And the grassy terrain recovery isn't looking incredible, because it's actually helping them out more than us. And there is still the potential of a follow me, or not a follow me, an ally switch. Yeah, there's the trick room. So do we have anything slower than this that we brought? I don't think so. However, Urshifu breaks through protect, so they kind of have to make a choice as to which one they want to hit. Actually, what I'll do here is I'll go hard toxicity, because they're going to target down the, the Rillaboom regardless. And I should be able to go for an overdrive. Now, we are Choice Scarf, so we're slower than everything under Trick Room, but I think this is our play. We don't have Max Guard. I should just go into Urshifu. Or is it worth it to save the Rillaboom? What do they have? Um, It might be better just to save Urshifu, to be honest. I think I'm going to let the Rillaboom go down. I'll attempt a Drum Solo. But I'm likely going to lose the Rillaboom here. I'll just overdrive. Should have snarled. Floral healing. Oof. Okay, good. Well, that does 100% under Grassy Train, which is kind of disgust. Oh, no, it doesn't. What? Well, I guess it's 100% off of the uh, base HP. We are Salt Vest, but... Oh, we do tank that. Oh, my God. We actually took it. No way. Okay. Uh, I, I take everything I, I said back about this Rillaboom. This is the best Rillaboom. Max HP Assault Vest. This is the best one. Objectively. Like, it's not even competition anymore. How much is this going to do? Eh, not too much, but respectable amount. Rillaboom has the Assault Vest. We're facing down a Comfe. Um, I might be able to knock it out. All right, please let it be like... Okay, it's a Rillaboom. Now, we are slower than this Rillaboom, so I should be able to... Max Drum Solo, and... I wish I could Sludge Bomb right now, but we have to go hard into into the uh, the Urshifu. I stumbled on like five words there. Or I stumbled on the same word like five times. I was like the uh, 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 Urshifu. <laughs> I couldn't get that word out for some reason. All right, there's a Giga Drain. We should live that. And we're probably slower than them, unless they're minimum speed as well. So this Drum Solo should come close. Oh, Grassy Glide. Okay, well, that's disappointing. It's disappointing they made the, the good call. However, I can now knock my <laughs> knock myself out. I can lock myself into um, Sludge Bomb, which is nice. The only thing is, if they're high horsepower, that's going to hurt. How many turns of Trick Room are left? There's two turns of Trick Room. So I should Sludge Bomb. And I really want to make the call for them to, um... For them to, like, target into this Toxtricity and predict my Protect, but... We're in, we're in Great Ball tier, no one's making that play. There's the Giga Drain. There's the Grassy Glide. Okay, tell me this uh, somehow knocks it out. I'm pretty sure they're Assault Vest as well, so... Behind the Veil and everything. Yeah, it's doing nothing. Alright, um... And Floor Healing is annoying too. So I, I suppose I have to go for a nubble, uh, another Protect, which is kind of annoying. Um... And maybe I should target down this Comfey, if anything. Now that I think about it, it makes the most sense to target down Comfey. Because it's got Floral Healing. It's going to be really annoying for the rest of the match. I don't get the double Protect, so I'm going to lose my Mon here. And they likely have a, a ground move to deal with this Toxtricity. However, uh, after this turn, the Trick Room goes away, I believe. 
And if I'm lucky, everything on their side of the field is going to be poison weak. <laughs> Which is definitely not true. It's definitely not what's going to happen here. The Aurora wears off, the Twisted Dimensions have returned to normal, and the Grassy Terrain is gone. So if he does have a ground move, I have lost. Which is disappointing. Alright, let's go for it. Come on, baby. Tell me he doesn't have high horsepower. Like a, like a good Rillaboom player. I'm kind of hoping he just, like, floor healings into his own Rillaboom. As he withdraws. Okay. Okay, interesting. What am I going to catch here? The Togekiss. This is possible. This is doable, man. I have to crit a Sludge Bomb and take whatever the Togekiss goes for. But everything on their side of the field is weak to, to poison moves, so this might be a clutch win. It's going to be close. It's going to be real close. They have fake out pressure. They have everything they need. Uh, but I have a poison move and a choice scarf. Now, uh, they would have gone for the high horsepower uh, if they if they had it, I think. So they're most likely just going to be going for fake out and grassy glide the next turn. Um, Togekiss, I resist both of their stabs. But I think I still have to prioritize it. I mean, I don't even know if it matters. Grassy Glide probably hurts worse, so I'll go for it into the Rillaboom. Let's see if they have Fake Out. They, they definitely do. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we saw it earlier, but I wasn't paying attention, because I'm dumb. And the Grassy Train is back, which is pretty nice. That hurts, but I think the recovery actually puts me in a position where I'm pretty... Pretty capable of winning here. And I definitely need to target down this Rillaboom because Grassy Glide's going to be a pain in my butt. So we're going to Sludge Bomb the Rillaboom. He could also just high horsepower me. But if he if he doesn't high if if he has high horsepower, I have no idea why he didn't just use it like three turns ago. There's the follow me. <sighs> Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Tell me I like just crit in one shot. Nope. This is going to hurt. Yeah, he's got it. Okay. You should have done that like three turns ago, man. Why, why, are, you, why are you stalling me out? <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Unfortunately, we take a loss in... Ugh, great ball tier. Oof. I don't like when I lose in the lower tiers. Like, I'm okay with losing a million times in Master Ball tier, because at the very least, I'm in Master Ball tier, right? But as soon as I lose in, like, Great Ball tier, I'm like, I'm going to be stuck here forever, man. I know I played, like, six games, but I'm going to be stuck here forever. I'm usually not in, in, like, Great Ball tier. I'm usually, you know, in the higher tiers already, but literally no time to ladder. Maybe if I find time. I keep saying, like, every time I record, I'm like, if I find time, I'll play in the higher tier. Or I'll play until I get to Master Ball tier, and then I'll start recording. I just have no time, though. <laughs> it's an unfortunate circumstance right now. Luckily, though, um, we're in Great Ball 9. I actually forget. Is I think Ultra Ball is 11. And there's only one tier for Ultra Ball. I always forget. Is Great Ball 7? I'm going to look it up while we're waiting for the next match. I'm going to look it up. Pokemon Online Tiers. Let's see. Alright. Um, oh. We're facing Psy Spam with this team, and we have, like, no checks to Psy Spam, which is annoying. Also, uh, Ultra Ball tier is 10, so let's try not to lose too much. Yeah, we have, like, no Psy Spam checks. We, we probably just auto-lose to this team, if I'm being completely honest. Um, it looks like one of my greatest assets is going to be Tox... Not Tox, the Excadrill on the lead, since we have the Focus Ash. And probably Togekiss on the lead as well. Rillaboom in the back. And... Choice Scarf Toxtricity could have come in clutch, especially since I don't really want the Amoongus. I, I need more of an offensive mon, and with the Snarl, I suppose it'll come in handy. But yeah, no, uh, this, is, this is a very difficult match for this team, mainly because they have... Two Psychic types. <laughs> and they can honestly lead off with, like, Ndidi and Alakazam. And if I let off with one of my Psychic Weak Mons, it, it pretty much would have been over. Alright, Jimby. Jimby. 
Darmanitan and Didi. Uh, that's fine. They're most likely just gonna follow me Dynamax, I believe. Just a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying, to be honest. Um, I think I get the most out of this turn. Th they're definitely gonna follow me. That's the thing. And they're definitely gonna be going for the Ice move into the Togekiss. So I think it's in my best interest just to Steel Spike into the Darmanitan, expecting it to get redirected. And... Do I just sack Togekiss? I don't want to sack Togekiss. It's kind of important to winning, to be honest. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. They're just going to follow me. Yeah, we have to sack. I think probably the Scarf on the Toxtricity is going to be useful in the endgame. And I can't undervalue that. Alright, there's the Dynamax on the uh, <laughs> Darmanitan. I mean, I suppose I could have gone Toxtricity and saved saved a turn, you know? Like, saved, uh, saved Togekiss until the turn I needed it, but I don't know. I just I just feel like it's not worth sacking one of my faster Pokemon in a, in a match versus a very hyper-offensive team. Let's see if this gets redirected. I kind of hope it doesn't. I mean, I really hope it doesn't. <laughs> It'd be really dumb if they didn't, though. Here's my follow me. Let's see if they went for it. What if they expanding forced? Nah, there's the follow me. Okay. They know what they're doing. Max Hailstorm, that's 100% going to knock out this Tokus. And I'm also going to lose my Focus Sash, which is a little bit annoying. It's actually very annoying. Uh, however, I could get it back by getting in my my um, Rillaboom next turn. Here's the Steel Spike. Not going to one-shot because typically run in DD pretty pretty bulky. Uh, however, I do have the opportunity to fake out into the Ndidi this next turn and go for a Steel Spike into the Darmanitan. And I'm pretty certain I take any hit from Darmanitan at plus one defense. So the fake out's gonna block the follow me. All right, and I should be able to steel spike. And I'm really hoping they don't max guard because that's gonna be super annoying. I just kind of have to hope that uh, they don't know what they're doing. But at the very least, Grassy Glide should knock out the Indeedy the next turn if they decide to go with that route, as they helping hand, which is smart. Uh, they might knock me out from this range then. There's the Max Flare. That's going to hurt so bad. As we're... Yeah, we hang on. Just just barely, though. And I really hate how close this match is. Considering the matchup, I, I should be happy. I should be happy that I'm actually getting this far. Alright, yeah. That's going to one-shot Dermanitan. It's it's only bulk is in its HP. So we're, we're fine. Um, something to note, though, is... We took no damage on our Rillaboom this turn, so Rillaboom could be a very, very important asset the rest of the game, especially considering we have max attack and Assault Vest and we're at plus one defense. We also still have the Scarf in the back uh, with the Toxtricity, so that could be really, really good, especially if we lock ourselves into uh, Overdrive, or Snarl, I suppose, uh, versus this team. And there's the Porygon too. Ooh, okay. They're probably going to set up that Trick Room on me, which I don't like. I don't like that at all, um, but I could knock off into the Porygon. And if they have Trick Room mode, that means that they're likely... Yeah, they're likely Tyranitar on the back. So what I'll do here is I'll uh, just get another defense boost by Steel Spiking into Porygon. And I'll go ahead and I'll go for the... Actually, no. no I should definitely Steel Spike into the Ndidi slot and just go for the knockoff into the Porygon to make it easier to win the match. There's the helping hand. What? Excuse me, sir? Okay. Uh, I don't mind keeping my my Excadrill, I suppose. And my... Derm I'm pretty sure my... My, um... Rillaboom doesn't drop to anything he's going for here. Who knows? Maybe he's carrying, like, Flamethrower. I would hate that, actually. Is the knockoff going to do some hefty damage? 
And he didn't go for Trick Room, so that's nice. There's the Ice Beam. Yeah, I'm not dropping to that. He's going to have to freeze me. And now that I said it, it's going to happen, isn't it? Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, on the bright side, uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain if they brought the Porygon, there's a Tyranitar in the back. So I think we just win. Yeah, there's the Tyranitar. So I should always double into the Porygon 2 slot this turn. Uh, and I'm going to go for the uh, Iron Head plus Drain Punch. And that should knock it out since it has no Eviolite now. And Toxtricity plus Excadrill should win me the match. The only thing I have to be really careful about is uh, the possibility of them going for Rock Slide, but I think they always have to protect. Um, yeah, I think they have to protect their Tyranitar here if they want to win. So I'll go ahead and I'll go for the Iron Head. High Horsepower does more, but I'm scared of missing. And Drain Punch should give me, at the very least, enough HP where I'm going to... Yeah, cool, cool, they protected. I was going to say, um, Drain Punch at the very least should allow me to live a Rock Slide if they go for it. And this should knock it out. Please. Okay, we're good. We won. That was terrifying. I really hated that matchup. Yeah, Drain Punch plus Iron Head is going to pick up the KO. Take a bit of chip damage. Recover it all off with the Grassy Terrain. It's all good. It's all good, man. What are we on? Like, episode 4 boosted the top 2020? And the season's already almost over. Because <laughs> seasons are monthly, and I I've played like four times this month. That's hilarious, actually. Watch me not even make Master Ball tier this month out of sheer time crunch. Yeah, you got no way of winning, bud. Just, uh, just click your move. Watch them protect here. I always hate when they protect for no reason at the end of the game. It's like the middle finger of Pokemon, where you have no reason to protect because you lose in every situation, but you're just going to do it. Alright, yeah. There's the weakness policy, not that it matters. Unless they're faster than me. <laughs> Don't be faster than the Rillaboom. Okay, we're good. I was going to say, uh, since we have zero speed, there is there is always that, that chance that they're like max speed Jolly Tyranitar, and they end up sweeping me with Rock Slide. <laughs> That'd be the worst case scenario. All right, cool. So we end up taking the second game of the session. We're going to get one more. One more for this session. I always do three games. Three games is like my minimum. One day I'm going to do two and someone's going to point that out. Thank you for playing Rank Battle. Here's a Pearl String. Thank you. I wish um, wish my girlfriend would give me gifts like that. Let's take a look at this. Yep. Um, pretty scary team. I'm surprised we got through it, to be honest. All right, let's continue battling. Uh, yeah, definitely the, the main issue with the team is the lack of psychic switch-ins. I would say that. That's like my, my main criticism here. I might stay up after after I finish the session. Like, In fact, you know, no, I'm going to get to Master Ball tier before the, before the night's over. And next video, we will be in Master Ball tier. I can guarantee it. I can't. Basically, I'm going to lay in my bed, watch King of the Hill, and fall asleep while playing. That's what I'm going to do. That's my game plan for tonight. Can anyone else relate? I don't know. I'm a big King of the Hill fan for some reason. Like, King of the Hill is my comfort show. Where other people will watch The Office, I just watch King of the Hill. I've seen, like, the entire series twice at this point. <laughs> and that's, like, no small feat. That's, like, watching, um... That's probably, like, watching One Piece, to be honest. <laughs> oh, my God. Is King of the Hill's size comparable to One Piece? Are there that many episodes? I, I don't know. What is this? Okay. Um, they have no Trick Room Setter unless, for some reason, Kling Clang gets it, and I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. In fact, dude, this might be plus and minus Kling Clang plus, um, what was it? It's like minus Kling Clang and plus Toxtricity. That's kind of scary. Uh, Ectodrill is always my lead. Togekiss is probably good. However, I think I might lead Rillaboom instead to scare off the Snipe Shot. Uh, in the back here, I'm going to bring the Togekiss because it just, uh, mm, 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 no. They have no way of beating Amoongus unless they bring the Cloister, which they definitely shouldn't. And screw it, we're gonna bring this chart. We're gonna bring the Scarf Toxtricity because I wanna. Because I really wanna. All right, Noel. 
I feel like I say that at the beginning of every match. I'm just like, all right, insert name here. You know? All right, Klingon. Dude, it's exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> it's this. Okay, uh, so we're going to Earthquake. Oh, no. I let off the grassy terrain. No. No. <laughs> okay, um, so what we're going to do here instead, since we probably outspeed the Toxtricity, is we're going to go for Fake Out into Toxtricity, and then we're going to Max Quake, and that should pick up the KO. Oh yeah, no, that's that's 100% my play. Cool, max quick, fake out. We do that. They have no way of blocking it. I, I break their balloon, and I break their spirit. It's exactly what I thought it was. That's freaking hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just dumbfounded that someone's running this. At the very least, run Rillaboom on your team. Do they have a Rillaboom? I, I don't know, but they should run a Rillaboom if they're going to run two, two Pokemon that weak to ground moves. They're about to they're they're about to find out like why this strategy doesn't work. That or I'm about to get an A8 on. Eh, they protect. I didn't like that. TBH, I didn't like that. Cause now I don't break their balloon and they don't get hit by Max Quake. I hate you. I hate you, man. There's the ch <gasps> No! It gets the move! <laughs> I should have checked. My hubris. No. All right. Um. I suppose we do the same. Oh my god! I'm such an idiot. <laughs> no. Ah. I'm so disappointed with myself. Magnetic flux. What does that do, dude? Don't tell me. No. No. You're not taking this hit. You're not taking this hit, bro. You're gonna you're gonna sludge wave. Yeah, that's it. And I'm gonna take it. I'm totally gonna take the hit. Told you, Rillaboom, monster, monster of a Pokemon. We're also minimum speed, so uh, we're not minimum. We're not like Brave Nature, but we we can probably drain punch that thing. What is Kling Kling's base speed? We might underspeed this thing. Let me. I, I'm gonna start looking it up. I got the team builder open. I I'm so disappointed in myself. Kling Kling, what's your base speed? It's 90. Okay, we're probably slower than it, so I might be able to Drain Punch. I might not. Magnetic Flux did go before Max Quake, so... We know for a fact we're not slower than it with, uh, with the Excadrill here. Bro, did I just freaking lose? Um, he's definitely Overcoat, too, so he's going to ignore Spore and stuff. I'm going to save Excadrill, because it's really important to win in this game. I'm going to switch into Toxtricity here. Uh, and I think it's in my best interest to also switch into Amoongus. Yeah, okay. This has gone terribly. This has gone terribly, dude. Get out of here, Excadrill. We can't afford to lose one like you. You're too important to beating this like nearly mono steel team. Alright, Toxtricity, um, time for you to just kind of fall over, I suppose. Watch him drill run. If he max Quakes, I'm going to be real surprised. He should probably, like, max Knuckle. Maybe max Flutterby into the Rillaboom slot. It's kind of his choice. It's, it's, it's Dealer's choice. I'm going to play super defensively for the next couple of turns. I don't know how, how likely I am to actually succeed in that uh, with, like, no Protect on this team. Max Steel Spike into the Amoongus. We can take it. Not well, mind you. Not very well, but we take it. So that's pretty cool. That's nice. Is the magnetic flux? No. What? How does magnetic flux work? Oh, I guess, I guess it only affects the um, Pokemon with the ability plus or minus. Let me check that out. Magnetic flux. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's how I thought it did. Uh, Toxtricity, you should probably just overdrive here. And I might go hard into... Nah, I'm the slowest, so I'm going to go ahead and put that Kling Kling to sleep. Get out of here, Kling Kling. I'm not the slow... <sighs> Bro. Why are we not minimum speed? Why are we not minimum speed, man? We are. 
What? Is a scavenger naturally slower? What's the scavenger's base speed? I thought it was like 35. Maybe I'm just wrong. Dude, this is such a wacky team. What the hell? Oh, it's base 20, that's why. What the hell, dude? I'm so shooketh, to be honest. I am shooketh beyond belief. Alright, um, I can protect with my Excadrill here, and I don't know how many turns of Trick Room are left, and I don't want to find out, actually. Actually, I might need to just sack Rillaboom for the sake of not getting up grassy terrain. It is important to my to my chances of winning to keep grass to, to remove my grassy terrain, if that makes sense. Um, so here, I am going to Overdrive once more. And I am going to fake out into Clink Clang because I am slower and Drain Punch wouldn't do anything. Or because I'm, I'm slower into Trick Room and Drain Punch wouldn't do anything. Bro, I, is this what I'm going to face? Is this how I like... Is this is this really how I go down this video? This can't be it, man. This ain't it. The Clink Clang has like no offensive moves, if I remember. Trick Room, Magnetic Flux, Gear Up. It's got to have Gear Grind or something. It definitely doesn't have Protect. So I have to stall out my own grassy terrain so I can Earthquake and over a crit. At the very least... Oh, now the Escavalier has defense boost too. Dang it. There's the Max Knuckle. Into this Rillaboom for the KO. Get an attack raise. At the very least, before I hit it with an Earthquake, I'm going to be able to hit it with an Overdrive. So I'm going to do some damage. Tell me the Grassy Terrain runs out this turn. His Dynamax does at the very least, so that's nice. <sighs> Dude. Alright, cool. Grass is gone. This isn't how I go down, man. This, this literally can't... Oh, we only have high horsepower? That is not a Pog moment, but at the very least I keep my... I thought we had Earthquake. Alright, at the very least we keep um, Toxtricity. And I think this will KO. I'm, I'm fairly certain this will KO. He's got, he's got a lot of defense boost, to be honest. I'm, I'm kind of concerned it isn't. He does still have the, the option to drill run. But we're also spamming Overdrive. It's There's a lot of things going on right now. There's a lot of things. And I'm not comfortable with any of them, because I can still miss this hit. And with my luck, that's what's going to happen. He's going he's gonna to be no attack, and he's going to run Ally Switch. He's got no attacks in this Clink Clink. That's what's going to happen to me. All right, come on, knock it out. <sighs> ah, that ain't it, man. He's got Razor Shell, what? Just run. <laughs> so yeah, this is my life right now. Um, I think it's pretty sick, though. I think this is a pretty sick way to, to go down. We're in overdrive. It's not gonna pick up the kill on the Kling Kling. I have to go for Protect here. Bro, what the hell? <laughs> Tell me you just doubled into this Excadrill for no particular reason. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Maybe I'll get a crit. There's a flash cannon. It's gonna do nothing. Can I get a crit and knock this thing out? And can I get like five protects in a row? That would be sick nasty. Give me the double. I need this double for any chance to win. Come on, baby. Come on. I need to keep both of these Pokemon on the field to win this match. It's 30%, man. It's 30%. It works 30% of the time, all the time. That's Protect, man. 30% all the time. 30% of the time, every time. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. How do you read a double... Okay, we're good. We're good. It's it's Gucci. The bad man can't hurt us anymore. <sighs> we didn't knock out a Scavalier. I don't like that. Because we got to go for a triple now. Now we got to go for the triple. <laughs> That's 10%. <laughs> There's the Vile Plume too. It was, it, we never had a chance to win. There was never a chance to win here. How many turns of Trick Room are left? I believe in Excadrill. I believe in Excadrill, to be honest. I believe in Excadrill. Check it. Check it. Uh, wait, doesn't Razor Shell have a chance to miss? I'm going to Rock Slide. <laughs> he doesn't have to. Okay, yeah, we lost. 
Dude, why is this the way I'm going down? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am, um... I am, uh, at a loss for words as to what just happened. Um, if Nall has a YouTube channel, please subscribe to them. Clearly they're better than me at this game. Let me look at this. So they got G-Max and Teleon. Um, he's Scope Lens. He's Torrent. Adamant. <laughs> this isn't... Okay, at the very least, they, they minted it. Okay. It was, um, what's the item? Is it... Where's it? Am I, am I dumb? Where's the item? He's got no item on the Inteleon. He's got Focus Sash Cloister. Miracle Seed Vap... I lost to this today. I, I lost to it. I'm trash. I'm, I'm like actual. And his Escavalier is paralyzed, guys. <laughs> I like that it remembers that. He's got a paralyzed Escavalier. Bro, I lost to this today. And his bug moves felt. I lost to this. I lost to this, man. That's just. That's just how it is, man. Well, uh, clearly you guys need to unsubscribe. At the very least, I got a cool thumbnail. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you. Have a nice night. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, yeah, see ya. <laughs>